Today's webcast is brought to you by First Financial Title, Agency of Minnesota. A top Treasury official says that a recap and release strategy for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac would be ineffective and Morgan Stanley sees net revenues drop by more than $1 billion year over year in Q3. Ahead on Tuesday's News Wrap. A top U.S. Department of Treasury official effectively ended any speculation that the government's seven-year-old conservatorship of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac would end before the 2016 presidential election. Antonio Wise, counselor to the Treasury Secretary, called the push to recapitalize the GSEs and release them from the FHFA's conservatorship, quote, misguided. Wise claimed that such a recap and release proposal, if executed, could raise the cost of mortgages and potentially expose American taxpayers to another bailout. With the conservatorship passing its seven-year anniversary in September, much talk among lawmakers has centered on GSE reform and on privatizing Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. But Wise contends that the recap and release proposal that it is being bantered around is not an effective way to do it. Wise contends that a recap and release would not work because it would not expand mortgage credit access, because taxpayers have not fully repaid for the bailout, and because GSCs would require a high level of capital to recover the $5 trillion worth of risk on their books. Morgan Stanley's net revenues for the third quarter of 2015 were down by more than $1 billion from Q3 2014, according to the firm's Q3 2015 earnings statement released Monday. Morgan Stanley reported net revenues of $7.8 billion for the quarter ending September 30th, 2015, compared to net revenues of $8.9 billion from the same reporting period a year earlier. Morgan Stanley Chairman and CEO James Gorman said, quote, the vitality in global markets in the third quarter led to a difficult environment, impacting in particular our fixed income business, close quote. You can check out these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.